Uh, hello everybody, DNA here. Um, gonna make a little tutorial on how to make a NetSheet PS3 version 4 plugin. I uh, should have made this a long time ago, but I didn't even think about it. So the game I'm gonna make it for is GTA 5. I have this image I found. Um, I'm gonna use it as the icon. And uh, this these cheats, which I'm gonna use as an example. Um, bear in mind that you might hear a lot of like a lot of that because I'm using a laptop and uh, I don't know where my mouse is. So yeah, sorry. Alright, so let's open up a uh, new instance of Visual Studio and then we'll make a, uh, a DLL. Alright, um, so in here we got a new, if I can do it right, <laughs> project. So what we're going to do in here is create a class library, um, which is the DLL. And then you'll name it whatever, so I'll do GTA 5 sample plugin. And then I'll put it, uh, yeah, that's good actually. So, okay. And we're back. So uh, from here, the first thing you want to do is change your uh, build to. Um, uh, let's see if I can find it. I haven't done this in a while. To .NET version 3.5. Uh, that's because NetCheat was built on 3.5, and if you have a different version, or at least I think if you have a version higher, then it will not work at all. Yes. That should do it. I don't know if that will. Okay, then you can delete this because it's not needed. Yes. Um, then you're gonna want to import uh, project add existing item. Uh, so if I go to my desktop, go to NetCheat plugins plugin default. You import this. Um, I don't know why I did that. So in here you have uh, pretty much the basic setup for what you want. Uh, you just have to modify a few things, especially that. So we're also going to add a reference. I guess I don't need that. Add a reference to um, the DLL. So since you don't have the NetSheet source, or maybe you do actually, I don't know. It's open source, so you probably might. Um, just import the DLL, like so. Okay, and then it's imported, and then most of this shit should go away. Uh, and then what's left are these two things and this. So for now, we'll just call it GTA 5 uh, sample. Um, has <laughs> infinite health and uh, game speed. Yay. <laughs> uh, plug an author. Workshop. Um, version. I guess that would work. And then the tab text. Uh, I don't know if I. Do I still use this? I actually don't remember if this is used, but just in case that it is used, I'll just put GTA 5 plugin actually. Um, yeah, <laughs> I don't know if that is used. Okay, next thing you want to do is add a um, two uh, user interface, or user control, sorry. Not existing new. My bad. Okay, um, one of them will be your User control. Don't do this one because you don't want WPF. Uh, you're gonna do one and call it CTL main. You can um, you can have whatever name you want, but just make sure that my main inf interface creates a new instance of that. Uh, by default, it's this, so I just stick to that. Why not? So let's create that. Oh, oh, oh. Another thing is you're going to want to make copy local false. 
Uh, that way it doesn't create another instance in the build directory, um, which I made a fix for with the exe. It actually deletes it, but otherwise it will uh, it'll try and load it for some reason. Or not for some reason, it's just it loads any DLLs in that directory, um, <laughs> which is not good, but whatever. It, it checks to make sure that it has the plugin interface, but because this is the plugin interface, it fits in that group, so um, yeah, it creates an error, so it deletes it, but still just make copy local false. Alright, CTL main, um, that's one, so the other one is uh, the CTL icon, so let's add that, CTL icon, like so. Okay, so I'll do the icon first since it's the easier thing to do, uh, hopefully. <laughs> um, so let's get these properties. Okay, go down to size and set it to 266, 210. Um, that's the size of the uh, picture box that is created. Um, yeah, so. Yeah, uh, next thing I have to do is open this up in Photoshop, or any editing program probably, because you're just copying it, um, but I'm going to use Photoshop. Uh, so we're back, and I don't understand why these lines are here, but I don't think they'll be uh, obtrusive. So let's go to image size and scale it down. Uh, yeah, nah. I'm going to crop this a bit. So that it, I don't, I don't need this black stuff. I just want it to show GTA Five. Uh, yeah, hmm. it's not really good to go by the blind eye, the naked eye. Okay, and then image size two six six two ten. Yeah, that's better. All right. So. For now, I'll just save it to the desktop and save it as a PNG. Small. Okay. Uh, so that's that's what I got. So if I go back here and then not back here, sorry, back here, and go to background image, um, local resource import desktop, and this. Okay, and that's what it'll look like in there, which I think looks pretty good to me. Um, yeah. All right, now to the CTL main, which is all the important stuff. So if you go to, no, if you so if you go to plugin default uh, in the plugins folder of Matchy PS3, and you go ahead and open it up, you get this. So if you copy that, and then put it in the this like so um, that is oh right one last thing using all right not the last thing actually plug it interface and then the last thing is go copy this go over here bam and now you should be able to build this and it should build fine There we go. All right, so if I go to, um, I guess maybe this, <laughs> maybe this is the last thing, hell no. Um, so if I go to uh, build and then scroll down. Okay, you wanna output this, or at least I do, just so I can test it instantly to the NetSheet plugins folder. Um, that way I don't have to like, every so every time I build, I don't have to like transfer it over and then yeah, so if I go to net sheet and go GTA 5, see? Sample, plug in, yay, and yeah, it's the GTA 5 thing. And then by default, if it has no icon, um, like you, you didn't put an icon, uh, but you have to still have to have that f uh, user control, otherwise it will give you an error. Um, it will just default the net sheets icon. So yeah. Um, Okay, let's move on into actually utilizing codes. 
using the uh, so here are the codes uh, I didn't find them I think my friend Veritas DG found them uh, but yeah I guess credit goes to him I'm assuming that I, I don't actually never I never checked so I don't know all right um, so we have infinite health uh, and it's on off so it's um what does that say solution yeah I don't know what that is um, all windows checkbox because you can turn it on and then you can turn it off so the checkbox is most um, uh, it's just the best so we'll call it uh, code inf health um, and then obviously just call it infinite health Okay, and yeah, that's really it. Obviously, this is way bigger than it needs to be, so I'll close that down. Um, and then we'll add another checkbox for game speed, uh, which actually needs to be constantly written, which is why I chose it, uh, because I'm going to demonstrate how to add codes. So in the case of this, you're just writing to the memory, so you don't actually need to make it a code. But with this, you're constantly writing, so uh, you make it a code that NetSheet uses. Um, excuse me. So infinite health, and then games or code G speed. So and then actually doubles the game speed. So game speed x two. And then that up a bit. Yeah. Um, by the way, the what you size this doesn't really matter because the plugin form actually just sizes to you know the the lowest uh, uh, control, the lowest control, and then the w longest control, I guess. So it will automatically size it to something around here instead of this. That's just there's a bug, and then I couldn't figure it out, so I just did that. Uh, so let's see, infinite health. Uh, the code is uh, this, so I'll just put it so I don't have to keep referring to that. I'll just put it like that. Okay. Um, so if code inf dot, uh, health dot checked, uh, I'll turn on. else turn off alright so if you want to turn it on then you're going to use the on code so NCI and in, so NC interface which is this um, and get in the plugin dot CS it gets set and stuff uh, set memory um, the address is this and then the value is new byte array um, then you want to create a byte array out of this Um, so zero x, yeah, that's what I do. Instead of um, oh, duh. Right. Um, that should be good. Yep. Okay. So I'll just copy this over. Make that a four. Oh, this is a assembly hack. Cool. Which makes me think it's not <laughs> my friend that found this. <laughs> no offense. Uh, all right, and then <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we have the two instances. Um, so this turns it on, this enables the code, and this turns it off, disables it. Yeah, um, let's see, build. 
I'll show you the result at the end. I'm not gonna actually test it now. Mainly because <laughs> I'm on sex right now, so I can't test it, but uh, using the program, I'll make, like, I'll edit in another video of me on Dex testing it. Uh, so, let's see. That's that. And then the final one is game speed. And this uses a lot, utilizes the, um, how, uh, how to add codes. So, okay. Um, so if, derp, if code gs, oops, gs speed dot checked, turn on, else, turn off. Okay, so how this works is, um, you add a code to the constantly written codes like loop uh, and it returns an ID the ID is then used to disable it or stop it from constant writing uh, so delete it or turn it off um, and that ID would either has to be global or I believe it can be static within the function I think I mean I, I know in C that works I don't know about C sharp never actually tried it like this the so static int um, ID is equal to zero. What? What? Yeah, see, that's not going to work. Um, okay, so int uh, GS ID is equal to zero. That works. So GS ID is equal to NC interface dot add, no, constant code add. Um, oh, right. So, string code is equal to, this This doesn't matter. It actually literally is equal to this. Um, yeah. This, that's, what, that's what's nice about this. this. You can actually put in um, jokers and all the other stuff. So true means it will be turned on. False means it will be turned off, but it's still added. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's a uint. Um, yeah, that should do it. And then turn off, uh, nc interface dot code remove. I can do either of these, um, but I'm going to do remove. I'm not sure why, but I am. <laughs> so build. Oh, sorry, wrong button. I've been using Visual Studio 2008 recently, so. Alright. Oh, wrong one. I keep forgetting. Okay, so NetSheet PS3. Go to GTA 5 plugin, and as you can see, it's opened up there. That's weird. I shouldn't be doing that. Um. Hmm. Odd. Anyway, yeah, so let me go test these, swap the de decks and test these. Okay, so capture cards over here, playing GTA 5, and then net cheat. So you're going to connect. Attach. And go to GTA 5. And you see the. I actually really like how this looks, to be honest. So we'll turn on infinite health, and we'll go ahead and run out there. And. Ooh, guess who's not dying today? Not I. Not me. That's right. All right. Okay. Uh, and then game speed. And go run like you're. <laughs> oh my god. I'm sorry. This is just super amusing for me. <laughs> Uh, and then we can turn it off and we'll back to normal. So yeah, I'm not going to release this because I don't think it's that useful. Uh, it's really easy to make. Um, but yeah, maybe somebody else will make a GTA 5 plugin. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching and have a great day.